Tonight, as we're learning more about Omicron, those who received the Johnson & Johnson vaccine are wondering, are they protected? We've been seeing your questions come into our newsroom, and 10TV's Lindsay Mills is taking those questions to a member of our team of medical experts. Lindsay? Yolanda, the CDC is now recommending other brands of the COVID vaccines over the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. If you got the J&J, &J, you likely want to know what happens now. Janice Powell and Vicki Kirk both wrote to 10TV asking if they were protected with the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. In Powell's case, she received it as her initial vaccine and then a booster. Giving somebody a vaccine is better than not giving a vaccine. Dr. Joe Gastaldo from Ohio Health says if you received the Johnson & Johnson vaccine as your initial vaccine, you should get a booster shot at least two months later. He recommends his patients who got J&J &J to start to get a booster Booster with a messenger RNA vaccine, meaning the Moderna or Pfizer brands. Regardless of what type of booster you receive, studies have shown you will reduce your risk of severe infection. But Kirk asks, if you got two doses of J&J, &J, do you need a third of another type? Dr. Castaldo says the answer is no. For those who have received J&J, &J, if they have received a booster shot, uh, there are no further recommendations at this time for them to receive another vaccine. And he wants to emphasize the phrase at this time. The CDC's vaccine advisory committee, they're constantly looking at data. And if there's data strongly supporting that those receiving a J and J for either uh, the primary vaccine or booster receive another shot, I feel confident that guidance will come out.